Jack Maxwell. Welcome to Belly Up, a trivia game show where we drink and have lots of fun. That's the idea, anyway. We have a couple of contestants today that I don't want to tell you any more about. It's a special episode. It's going to be really fun, so hold on. Here we go. Number one, why don't you tell us about yourself? <laughs> oh, you're killing me. Oh, it makes... Sorry, yes. Uh, White Rock Willie, <laughs> Captain Jack's cousin, as it were. Captain Jack's cousin. Uh, do you admire this Captain Jack of, of, of whom you speak? You look a lot like someone I know. I admire the Captain Jack of whom I'm speaking with, if you know what I mean, mate. Ah, well, <laughs> thank you for that. All right, we'll just call you uh, White Rock Willie. Is that it? Just Willie, okay? I'm afraid that's the name. Yes, well, sir. it is. <laughs> for copyright purposes, I'm sure, or trademark or something. I don't know how that works. What are you drinking, Willie? I'm drinking a Mr. Gibbs, which is a rum and coke in a Campisi's cup. Ah, Mr. Gibbs, another reference to that thing we're not supposed to reference. <laughs> I got a G&T with a lime. You see that there? Okay, here we go. Number two, tell us about yourself, would you? Hey, I'm Paul Menta down here in Key West, Florida. I heard that Willie was going to be on, and I said, well, he's going to need rum at some point. So I figured I'd join them all. Okay, well, that's it. You've figured it out, folks. We have the rum maker against the rum runner. All things rum today. A pirate wants the rum, and the rum guy's making it, but he's also, he's not just making rum to make rum. Now, I know Paul, of course, through a, a, a television show I used to call Booze Traveler, and Ooh. we went down and, and featured As a matter of fact, I signed a barrel of rum. I got to go down there and drink it. But, Paul, tell us about this other special thing you're doing Um which is awfully generous under the circumstances. Well, we're using our rum, and now the politicians, the police department, the sheriff, and almost all the citizens have one thing in common. They all smell like rum because we're making sanitizer. And we're giving it out for free, and we've been helping everybody out during this, during this crisis. And, uh, you know, I mean, listen, they say rum is the answer. I forgot the question. Well, it's definitely the answer in this part of it. <laughs> Well, let me let me throw you a plug, by the way. Paul Menta is the owner of Key West First Legal Rum Distillery. And uh, uh, what you're doing is so nice. But uh, we, we, we could talk about that, of course, again later. But let's have some fun. Because between the two of you, this show is going to be a blast. I can't wait. You know how this works. All questions are randomly generated by the computer. And, uh, and then we... <laughs> We just have fun and we drink. So, uh, Paul, you have a very interesting drink there. As a matter of fact, that's what you drank on the episode we did together. Uh, tell us about that, would you? Yeah, this is a coconut that we just got down out from the palm tree. And uh, we got some key lime rum. We pour the key lime rum into the coconut. And uh, this is called Slice of Paradise. As I recall, you might have had a few of these when we were sitting down by the dock. <laughs> a few of these. Remind, remind me not to rob a bank with you. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for giving that away. Okay, uh, Willie, are you ready to go? Um, ready as rain, mate. Okay, and Paul, you're ready, huh? Yes, sir. We, we, we have to do, usually we don't give out prizes. We do this for fun. We have drinks and some laughs. But uh, let's say, Willie, how about this? If Paul wins, you promise not to plunder his place uh, for all the rum. And Paul, if Willie uh, wins, maybe you'll send him some rum. How about that? Got it. I got a key lime rum pie with your name on it. If if you beat me, which I don't Ooh. think so. Long, but. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, mate. If I don't beat you, I'll just take it for myself. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, here we go. First question is, and by the way, I told the computer to do some pirated rum questions. So we'll see what they come up with. What's another name for fool's gold? I would say it was pyrite. Pyrite is correct. Pyrite? Yes. And by the way, computer, I said pirate questions. Pirate and rum. Let's see, if it, <laughs> let's see if, it, if it learns this lesson. Over to Paul. Question number one, one nothing Willie. Uh, you're going to take this one for granted, maybe. Who's on the U.S. $50 bill? I would say that would be my man, Ulysses S. Grant. That is correct. Why is it your man, by the way? Great general, lousy president. <laughs> because I love when he comes to visit. Ah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> really, you, you must really love old Ben Franklin. All right, one, one. Here we go over to Willie. What is Johnny? De oh, I see why that's a pirate question. What is Johnny Depp afraid of? 
Um, sobriety, maybe. <laughs> uh, the correct answer is clowns. Oh, that's funny. It's clowns. Okay. Still 1-1. One, yeah. one. Paul, here we huh? go. <laughs> Which artist is considered the father of the Impressionist movement? Hmm. I, I'm, I'm thinking Da Vinci, but... I'm not sure that's correct. Well, I'll give you a hint. You were just talking about it. Last question. Huh. Grant? No, you were talking money. It's Monet. Monet. Still 1-1. One, one. Over to Willie. Here we go. Willie, who's the greatest pirate of all time? So that would be me. Otherwise, it wouldn't say Blackbeard. But, of course, I can care on that answer. Okay. Uh, actually, no, Willie Stargell or Roberto Clemente, one of those two. You see, it was capitalized, pirate, as in baseball player, but you don't know what that is. You were born before that time. All right, still 1-1. One, one. Paul, what is rum called? Oh, this is a good rum question. That is minimum 114 proof. Oh. Navy strength? Navy strength it is. Okay, 2-1, Paul. Willie, Man, if I would have gotten that wrong, I'd be ejected from the Distillers Association. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't, but you are drinking out of the bottle, so you can be forgiven. All right, Willie, your turn. Here we go. Hi. Uh, Willie, by the way, um, let me ask you a question. Uh, sure. Have you thrown up from drinking too much, too much rum, maybe uh, while you're on Tortuga or something like that, or on the ship, or maybe the waves are making the ship move? You've, you've thrown up from drinking too much, right? I, I have thrown up many times, yes. Yeah, do you ever get the shakes afterwards? Yeah. If I'm listening to some good rock and roll, maybe. There you go. All right. Oh, uh, here we go. Moving on to the question. Who right. invented the word vomit? Speaking of throwing up. Oh. Um, Monet. Monet. D. Monet. <laughs> I no, guess. Actually, I kind of folded that hint in there. William Shakespeare. Ah. All right. 2-1, Paul. Here we go. Other than water, what's the most consumed beverage on earth? As we tee up the next question. Hmm. What's the most consumed? Well. <sighs> Not what should be. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's where it's gone. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to say it's the opposite of what I want it to be. Soda? No, actually, I said let's tee up the next question. Ah. It's me. That's the other side of the pond. There you go. That's right. Okay. Still 2-1. Paul over Willie. Here we go. What's the – why is the rum going <laughs> – come on, Q computer. Stop making fun of us. We know what you're trying to do. Let's have a real question. All right. Uh, what <laughs> – why is the rum going – what nationality was Captain Kidd, Willie? Captain Kidd was uh, American. Scottish, actually, still two to one. All right, uh, Paul, what is the only gemstone found in a living organism? Iron. Gemstone? Pearl. <laughs> Remember, it's pirate stuff. So uh, uh, it's, the, it's the rum, man. We're drinking. It's uh, going a little quicker than I should be. And, of course, Willie, you know all about the black pearl, do you not? Uh, I've heard of it, yes. It's, okay. uh, all right, here we go on to last call. You've played up to this point, as you know, for one reason, to see who gets to play or pass last call. Because if you get it right, you win, regardless of the score. You get it wrong, you lose and go belly up. So Paul's in the lead, two to one, and he's drinking rum out of the bottle. Do you want to play this or do you want to pass it over to uh, Captain Willie the Pirate? <laughs> I think that I will pass it over to my newfound friend and rum drinker, Willie. Well, as you know, Paul, if you do that and he gets it right, you got to send him a key lime pie and some rum. And by the way, I wouldn't mind some of that myself. Uh, yeah. I immediately regret my decision then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and well, if you get this right, of course, you can't plunder now, but he will send you some stuff, all right? Sounds good to me, mate. I'm all in. Fair enough. Here we go. Question goes to Willie. How many soccer players are on the field during a game? Are you serious? First of all, they call it football where I'm from. That's true. That's true. So really, 
I would say. Uh, I well, we call it soccer here in the states, but thank you for that. That is that. I'd is, say sixteen. Paul, do you know the answer to this? Eleven. It's eleven on each side for a total of twenty-two. Paul is the winner. The pirate goes down. <laughs> oh, Ken I'm goes down with the ship. Thanks, guys. That was a blast, and thank you for playing. We'll see you next time right here on Belly Up. Salute.